Everyone's kind of familiar with stairways. I think we've all gone up them in our lifetime. But a stairway, by definition, is just a way to get from one level to another. Yeah, from the first floor to the second floor, second to third, from the first floor, maybe down to the basement. There are lots of rules associated with it, but we're going to talk just the basics. We're going to look at some things like, where do we start? The start, the foundation of every stairway is the stringers. The wooden stringers that are underneath is what holds up the entire stairway and it carries the weight down to the foundation. In this case, we're looking at an exterior. It's a very wide stairway, but I just used this picture to show you the, the stringers that they've got here. They're cut out of treated lumber, which for exterior application is the way to go. If it's inside, you don't have to have treated lumber, but they're usually cut out of a two by 12 and very meticulously laid out and go from there. But one thing to note as you're in, uh, looking into them is the overcuts. Right here at the intersection between the riser and the tread, there's usually an overcut where they run the saw a little long. If it's a small overcut, no harm, no foul. But if you see they start getting large, there's something that could be compromising the structural integrity of the stringer. A best practice amongst framers is to run the skill saw close to the intersection, then either use a sawzall or a jigsaw to finish it off to make a nice, clean, sharp 90 degree corner with no overcuts whatsoever. So, stringers, that's where we start, and now we're going to start putting the pieces together. First one we're going to have here is, is what we step on. What is this thing we step on? Quite obviously, it's the tread. The tread is uh, usually a 2x12. If you make it out of 2x12s, you're almost, almost by default going to have the correct dimensions. Some people will use two 2x6s in this. You can do it, but you do have two pieces of wood coming together. There will be a gap. If you're using carpet, you might be able to feel that gap in your bare feet. Uh, also, those two pieces tend to, made, they want to cup sometimes, and so the stair won't be exactly level. So, normally, one 2x12 is a very good piece of wood to make the tread. Meeting the tread is what? It's the riser. As we go up, we're going to go up X amount of risers, and we'll be at our destination. This is usually made out of a 2x6. So a 2x6 riser or, and a 2x12 tread. Um, you can use, and some folks do, a uh, finishable, a paintable type of uh, OSB or other type of material, maybe half inch thick for the riser. But the thing that's carrying all the weight is the tread. That's where you really need some good lumber. So here's a real house. Here's a real house with a real stairway. Very simple. This one has walls on both sides. The stringer is attached. We have one stringer attached to this wall, one on the far wall over there, and there is a third stringer running down the middle. The wider the stairway, the more stringers you'll tend to have. This one's fairly um, normal. It's a little over three feet wide with three stringers. And I superimpose uh, our, li our little pieces here. So we've got our stringer running down. He's done a real good job, and literally at every stud, that stringer is attached with many nails. And then we've got he did use 2x12 treads on each step, and he came back and had 2x6s. And I said, if you had the 5.5 inch for the 2x6 and the inch and a half for the 2x12, you, again, you're at 7 inches, and we'll get into the dimensions on our next video, but it's almost foolproof when you use these, this type of lumber. Now jumping ahead, hey, modern technology, who would have thought? It's not always a 2x12. You could use a pre-manufactured stringer. These are made, I see them all over town, and you'll notice here they've got a uh, OSB type material on the riser, but the tread is a good solid piece of lumber. But these come from a factory. They're cut to fit and very, very economical. Uh, some companies can use this, so don't get bent out of shape if you see it because it saves the framer time and it's a quality product. So uh, if you see it, just add it to your vocabulary. Now as we jump ahead, so let's, let's just talk about the basics of stairs. What, hey, what's a stair? Well, a change in elevation with one or more risers. So just one little a step, that's a stair, according to the code book. That's where I got these definitions from. So, okay, if it's one or more, okay, let's, let's build on that. So if we have that, what's a stairway? Well, 
one or more what? One or more flights of stairs. Well, okay, now you're going, hey Dave, you just gave us another new term. What's this flight business? Well, guess what? I looked up that definition too. So we've got stair, stairway, and now we've got flight, which is what? A, com a continuous run of rectangular treads or winders or a combination thereof from one landing to another from one landing to another. And it could be from one floor to another. Those are considered landings. So that's a flight. So put it all together. What have we got? We got more than one step. So we've got a stair, we've got a stairway, and we've got what? We've got two flights. We've got from the first floor up to a landing. So this is our first flight. And then as we go from the landing up to the second floor, that's our second flight. So we have a very common stairway with two flights of stairs in this home. Now, that was a simple U-shaped stair, and we'll see that. What types of stairs? In your career, you're going to see and punch out and look at every kind of stairway under the sun. And here's just a few examples. You know, straight stairways, see them all the time. Hey, that's what I got in my house. It's just a straight, straight shot, straight upstairs. But then, hey, we might get a little fancy and we got an L-shaped stair, so we're not going just straight. Hey, we go up part of the way, and then we hang a left turn or a right turn, whatever the case may be. But it's an L-shaped stair with a landing somewhere. It could be just a few risers up and then have a landing and you turn. It doesn't have to be equidistant, as I show here in the drawing. Then we've got what I showed in the picture, the U-shaped stair. And this distance between the two sets of risers, the two flights, can be, it could be, right on each other, or it could be a foot or two apart. And then it's got a nice large landing here. So you go up one, hang a U-E, and go up the other way. It's a U-shaped stair. There's another type of U-shaped stair, just a little more work for a framer, but it's a double L U-shaped stair. But um, we're going up and hit a landing, and then I've got my uh, oh, a few risers, and then another landing, and another turn, and up I go. Very common. You'll see all of these as you work on homes throughout the years. Now we get a little tricky. Framers are going to go, ooh, when they look at a set of plans and they see a winder stair, that's a lot of work. There's nothing square or rectangular about this thing. They're legal. And I'll let you know in part three of our stair series here, I'm going to cover specifically the details for winders and curved stairs. They're kind of a special breed all to themselves. And so here's another type of winder. It's just an L shape, but instead of a landing, they have three or four different risers that turn. And we're going to cover that, and we'll talk about that in the future. And then my favorite stairway. The curved stairway to me is very elegant. It really adds to the atmosphere of a home. And uh, it's a lot of work between the framer and the trim carpenter. There's lots of work that goes into making a curved stair look beautiful. So here's a couple of examples. Here's the finished version of it, and uh, you can see lots of neat work, but you come into an entry and you just kind of go, wow, what a nice feature in this home. And even for me, I like frames. Even the rough side of a, the frame is, is, to me, it's beautiful in its own way because I can see how much work the framer did from the curved sole plate all the way through the studs and each tread and riser and making everything work so the dimensions are perfect all the way down. Curved stairs, beautiful elements in a home. And that's really it for the basics of stairways. Hope you dug in, took some notes, and learned something, and we'll see you on the next video.